Well, um, again, I started chiropractic care actually when I was pregnant and my sister was going in Raleigh. And I said, oh, well, I'll have to start afterwards. And then they said, no, it can definitely help with pregnancy, which was great because while I loved being pregnant, I was terrified of actually birthing a child. And so anything that would help make that process less taunting was like, I'm for it. I want the best for Sophia. So I figured we'll start early with her. So she was about a one when we started her on a regular program. Do you like doing the wobble cushions with me? The wobble exercises, that's what we call them. That's probably not the right name, but the exercises, the stretches and the warm-ups we do before. The balance thing in the room over there. Mm-hmm. Bring her to balance. Power on. And so we must take good care of ourselves so that we can be a blessing to others and do what he's called us to do. So um, my goal is to help us have the best nutrition and health maintenance that we can have so we don't have to have a lot of sick care. It's very easy to get lost in the responsibilities of life and wanting to give your best and then you find yourself inadvertently making yourself last. Uh, and it's all for good reasons, you feel like. But in the long run, it takes its toll, and you can't be all that you want to be for the people that you love. So you have to learn to carve out that time to take care of yourself so that you can be a better mother, wife, caregiver, provider, whatever it is. You need to be healthy as you can be um, and as focused as you can be to give your best. So self care is not selfish, it's self-preservation so that you can love the best that you can.